maybe we can reclaim that win streak. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna change my description so that it's uh, uh it's now accurate. No, now it's previously win streaking. Okay. Um, we can trade six max HE for a rare card. Um, uh, premium rare cards you choose on floor one are like Devaform, Vault, um, Establishment, um, um, Wish. Um, there's some real good ones. Um, 100 gold is pretty good. Um, 100 gold is pretty similar to um, Boss Relic. I do like to trade out um, for a Boss Relic quite frequently on Watcher because I'm not a big fan of pure water. Um, although it's fine. Um, I think pure water is probably the worst um, starting Relic. Um, like it's, it's miles behind um, Burning Blood and uh, Cracked Core. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's quite a bit worse than um, um, Backpack of Preparedness or whatever, Ring of the Snake that the Silent has. Um, and it's just weird to have the, the power of the starting relics be so different between the classes. I don't understand why that's the case. I guess it's just like whatever. Watcher has a way stronger starting deck, so she has way weaker starting relic. But, um... So we could trade that out for something better. Um... We trade max HP. We don't lose any current HP for this, so that's nice. Um, although you end up, like... There's a couple of events that you end up trading. Um... I guess it's just, just the golden statue. Maybe it's just the one. Uh, while we're here, let's look at the pathing. We don't want to go this way, that's scary. Um, three elites here, all kind of in a row though. Uh, we could also get three elites that way. We get four elites if we take these three and then that one. That's a lot of elites. Oh wait, you can't do that. These, uh, these lines being parallel tricked me. But they diverge. Um, so if we go three elites on the right, we don't have to fight them all at once, but we also get fewer campfires, is that true? That is not true. Um, if we do these two or these two and then that one, we still get this campfire beforehand. Um, we could just like sneak in. We could go here and then if we decide we're strong, try and fight two elites. And if we're not strong, we can rest before the first elite. I think I like that plan. So let's go here. Um, we want to get three fights before we go there so we could go either this way or that way. They're pretty similar. Um, do we want a question mark before or after the first fight? Um, this also technically has an additional choice here. So we could choose to, for some reason, go this way. Um, all right, so I generally only take a card reward uh, from now if we're gonna take a four fight path and we're not gonna take a four fight path, so we don't need to do that. Um, I would only take 100 gold if there is a shop within sight. And it looks like we're just not going to a shop this act at all. Maybe this one. Um, I guess there's a pretty high probability we'll go that one. Um, but we'll have enough money for that to be good by the time we get there. We'll have like over 180, which is sort of the minimum. Because that requires that, that guarantees you're able to buy at least the shop relic. Um... So not super excited about the 100 gold. I think it's probably going to be one of these two. These are the, like, big variance plays, right? Where it's like, you got Pandora's box and your deck got swapped out for 10 copies of Grand Finale or whatever. Um, and uh, the rare card tends to be pretty build around -y. Um The random boss route can also be um, Cursed Key, or not Cursed Key, um, Calling Bell. So that can be a real, real swingy moment. Um... Let's just trade out for a boss relic. This is normally my move. Slaver's Calling. Okay, so that means we probably can take four elites. Oh, we can't fight them, though. We don't, there's no path. So we just have to take three. Okay. Get a 
weight shop too. Seems okay. Why do you have to leave after that? Okay. That does power us down a little bit for hallway fights, because we used to have a miracle to spend, but now we don't. Uh, next turn is going to be Eruption Strike Strike, which is uh, 24 plus 9 is 33. So we've guaranteed Lethal, we shouldn't survive this turn. Okay. Cultist Potion? Talk to the hand on floor 1? What? What is happening? That was like... I literally cannot imagine a better... Floor 1 card reward section. It's like, Cultist Potion just, like, wins you any fight for free, or any, like, boss fight, basically. Um, and Talk to the Hand is, like, a total champion. Um, okay, so I guess we're taking these cards. Um, wow. That was nice. Um, okay, so if we're getting Golden Idol, would we rather get it before the fight or after? Well, we'd clearly rather get it before the fight, because we're not sacrificing any current HP and we'd get extra gold. So I think we take the question now. A big check. What is happening? Why did... These two floors were unbelievable. A zero damage cultist fight that gave us a cultist potion and a talk to the hand. And then the next floor has a big chest that has a cloak clasp in it? Like, what is this seed? What's happening right now? Those are some very favorable <laughs> events. Um... Okay. Um, let's put you to 11 so that he dies the next two attacks and try and take zero damage from the fight. Um, I'm going to go back because I could have attacked for free. I forgot about the Cloak Clasp. Give myself one little, little mulligan on the Cloak Clasp. I forgot I had it. Um... So we can break both and defend because Cloak Class is going to do the last two big blocks. Oh, Cloak Class. Why are you so hard to remember? Uh, we can do the same trick here. Um, except we've got extra block because of the talk of the hand. But whatever. Okay, Flurry of Blows is pretty much exactly what you want with um, talk of the hand. Um, Carve Reality is also a really nice card. I think we'll take Flurry of Blows just to um, get into the groove of that. We would hate to um, like find a Tantrum and not have picked this Flurry of Blows. This enables us to pick like Empty Fist and stuff, which is super good. Um, Carve Reality is really good, though. I definitely don't hate it. And with the Cloak Clasp, getting extra Retain cards. I think it's gotta be flurry though. Curve reality is so good, but not this time, curve. Okay, going this way. It's a jaw worm. Um, this is our max block, and it doesn't quite block out. It's close. All right, no point in playing defend there. Um, I think this is probably lethal. Great. Okay, now we're back to like normal <laughs> card awards where like things aren't good. Um, I could see picking Crescendo or Indignation. Well, we did pick a Flurry a second ago. Um, so if we find like a Stance Exit, then particularly Crescendo could be good. Um, indignation does help you blow people up. Um, It's also a repeatable source of debuffs, sort of like um, Wave of the Hand, um, but Wave of the Hand is like way better. Um, we'll take a Crescendo. It works with Cloak Clasp too, so we probably want to try and get to like a 10 card hand where we're like retaining 5. Um, ideally pick up an establishment or something.
Okay, um, we can't get rid of the regret anytime soon. We're about to do three elites in a row, so I don't think having a, a regret is appropriate. Um, I will take the max HP. We're feeling very strong, so let's go fight this elite. This guy. Um, we could just cultist potion right now. And then wait for three turns and wake him up and kill him at the same time. Um... We're definitely not waking him up this turn. We want to wait until we get talk of a hand. Probably draw crescendo. Maybe exhaust the Sunder's main. So I think this turn is just going to be vigilance. But we don't want to end turn without cultist potion if we want to use cultist potion. Uh, it's not a good fight for liquid bronze, and I would hate to get a potion just to throw away liquid bronze, um, since liquid bronze is so good against the guardian. Um, so I think I will drink Cold Explosion. This fight isn't free, so... I'll give it a resource. There's Sock of the Hand. Luckily coming up before... Uh, um, Cold Explosion would force us to uh, break him. Um, we're probably not gonna wake him up next turn. We're probably just gonna wait next turn. Just get that strength. I guess there's like a 5 out of 8 chance that we're going to draw Vigilance, approximately. So we could just go into a Wrath right now. Um, even if we don't get it, we still get some block return. Mm, I don't want to take 40 of them. Yeah, I think we'll just wait for the Strength. Take it slow. Yeah, we wouldn't have gotten it, would have been said. Um, okay, so we want max block. I think that's play all the cards. Um, if we Vigilance Defend Strike, we block for... F we, do we block out? Vigilance Defend Strike, we leave three cards in hand. We block for 13, 15, so we take two. Seems fine. Is this lethal? 13 plus 20. Uh, actually, we could do a little bit more than that. We could do 26 plus 20. It's 46. It's off by 1. Um, darn. I don't want to be off by 1. Okay, we'll probably get the kill next turn with Crescendo. So let's just focus on blocking this turn. Um, do we get the kill without Crescendo? Wait, there's no point in saving Crescendo. That's not how Crescendo works. Okay. Poor Calco. Um... So... Hey, thanks for the raid, Red Beardy. Appreciate it. We've just been going back and forth. I love it. I'm building a little community of people who watch Slay the Spire and hang out together. Um, how was your stream? Having a pretty good one here. Um, let's see. So Deceive Reality helps me proc Cloak Clasp a little bit better. Um, Cloak Clasp and Orc Alchem are compatible, so um, it's possible we block for 16 at the end of a turn here. Um, Deceive Reality helps us do that uh, by putting a... Um, wow. Five-hour Ironclad run. I, like... I explain everything I'm doing in all of my streams, um, and uh, I never have five-hour runs. I'll do like a, I have I'll have four-hour runs sometimes. I don't think I've ever had a five-hour one though. Um, that's insane. Did you win? If it was five hours, you must have at least gotten to the heart or act four, I suppose. No, there's no way. You, five hours did not include a heart fight. Um,
Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's true. There's a lot more to explain that I'm not I'm not talking about every single time. But I I don't know. I do talk about stuff. Um, like water also uh, plays into the end of turn block game. So we end up blocking for 21 at the end of every turn. Um, a relic bar, huh? Yeah, you're going way into it. That's like the the, the like basic mechanics. Um, I don't think we're um, all in on Auric Alchem. I don't think we're trying to proc Auric Alchem generally. I think we're generally trying to block with Talk to Hand. So let's ignore the fact that we have Auric Alchem. Uh, like Water still blocks for 5. So we can still block for 15 at the end of the turn, um, in addition to whatever Talk to the Hand did, um, or Defends, or whatever. Um, uh, Davaform is pretty nice with Talk of the Hand, because you can go um, pick a bunch of card draw and then attack people a bunch of times. Once Davaform has ticked a couple times, then you're up to whatever, six energy. You can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, and Deceive Reality would be our first uh, defensive card. Um, gives us something with Retain for Cloak Clasp. Um, Yeah, I feel like Davaform is, is very speculative. Uh, we've already got something pretty good that the deck is trying to do, and so I'm not super sold on, on switching over and doing this new thing. It is, it is kind of a compatible thing, though, and all we have to find is card draw to make it good, and, like, energy. And we kind of want that kind of stuff anyway, just to, like, find the talk of the hand and the flurry, and, like... Stance changing is energy generation, so like you can generate energy and then play Diva Form and then have more energy. Diva Form, I keep saying Diva Form. Um, yeah, all right. I think I talked myself into it. I think Diva Form's the pick here. You don't get too many shots at Diva Form, and it tends to be pretty good. Uh, we are about to go fight two more elites. Um, we do have extra energy on those fights. So we should be able to get David Form down. Huh. What's the uh, what's the Ascension 5 thing? You heal less after boss battles? So you still have like three potion slots and you don't have the Ascender's Vein or anything. It's a fun Ascension. I like that one. That was about where I got to with the, uh, the Infinite Ladder series. Um, obviously I'm still like theoretically climbing um, that, but uh... Yeah, Ascension 5 is sort of where I was stabilizing. Um, that's a little bit charity life. <laughs> I, I lost some Ascension 4 games in there, so maybe maybe Ascension 4 was where I stabilized. I don't know. I didn't do it for long enough to really find out. Um, but I think I'll probably go back to that at some point. It's interesting that you felt the need to, to demonstrate to new players on an Ascension level. I would think like you'd probably want to play non-Ascension Ironclad to demonstrate the game to a new player. Ideally, on a new account, where you don't have access to the, the new cards. But maybe that's not what you mean by new player. Maybe you meant, like, newish player, not, like, first time. Um. I like Deceive Reality a lot. We, we've picked it, we've skipped a Deceive Reality and a Carve Reality if we're not picking this to see reality, which is kind of insane, this Cloak Clasp. Um, but I'm pretty excited about that Diva Form. Hmm, we could get another Elite here? Um, gouged and Trampled his Gremlin Knob. Um, if we get hurt too bad, we can go to the right instead of fighting another Elite immediately. I mean, we have Slaver's Caller, right? So, like, we should... We're, we're just taking all the elite fights we can get. And if we get a four elite path, so be it, I guess. This is literally four elites in a row, though. It's like the only break is this chest. Um, so that's a little bit stressful. We could just steal a relic, though. That would be nice, too. Okay. Um...
Can we just crescendo right away? I think we do. I think we, like, flurry crescendo. Cloak Clasp is really nice in this fight, because we can, uh, we can block without playing cards. Um, okay, so we're currently blocking for 7 and taking 9. Would we rather take 9 or would we rather Vigilance and presumably take 0? Um, if we Vigilance, do we have Lethal next turn? We have Eruption, Double Strike, which is not lethal. That's 33, I believe. Oh, wait. Um, no, it is lethal because we'll have the Flurry of Blows going back. Um, wait. That would do 8, so we'd hit, hit uh, 41. Um... So it's 24 plus 9, 33. Yeah, it would be 41 damage, so we'd be off by a little bit next turn. Um, that's a good point. Vigilance gets me Flurry right now. Okay. Um, no, I did not count that. Yeah, okay, you're right. Everybody's, everybody's seeing this. Um, they are correct. We're winning the fight next turn. Okay. Thanks, chat. Okay. Meat on the bone. Um, Consecrate's really nice for the sentry fight, um, which is potentially the next fight. Um, it also, it's a zero cost attack, so it helps us proc talk to the hand. Um, it's a little bit awkward with Form. You don't really want too much zero cost stuff in the deck, um, unless you've got like a lot of card draw. Um, we are pretty afraid of sentries because we can't land talk to the hand on them, so we're not um, we're not getting as much block as we're used to. Um, as long as we can kill one of them, though, cloak clasp is going to do some work in the fight. Um, but I fear no evil is, is obviously really good, right? Because we want to stand cha changing stuff so we can get flurry of blows, we can exit eruption and stuff. So let's take Fierno Evil. Fight another elite. Scrum and again? What? Hacks. Um. Huh. There's sort of two lines here. There's either. I guess there's three lines. The three lines are Diva Form, Diva Form, Talk to the Hand. Um, Vigilance, Fierno Evil, Talk to the Hand. Or three attacks. Um, we don't really do much with Form yet. Um, and all Vigilance does is give us extra energy on our Eruption turn. Slash Crescendo turn. So I think I'm just going to do three attacks. Um, Redbeardy, so you said you, you took a viewer request to get... And they requested you do a super overexplained ironclad for like for newish players. Um, that means that your audience has a lot of people who are newish to Slay the Spire, which seems like the people who are are coming to Twitch to watch people play Slay the Spire. Um, so I think that's that's an impressive um, demonstration of your audience. Um, I think that that means you must have done a really good job of uh, of building that the right type of community. Um, I'm wondering how you did that. Um, we're going into Eruption now. If we Eruption Strike, we block for four with Talk to the Hand, and three with uh, Cloak Class, we block for seven total. Um, he hits us for 16, we take nine. Or, uh, yeah, nine. Um, we do 21 damage, so he goes to 45. Um, I don't think there's any way we're doing 45 damage next turn. And we're definitely going to be stuck in Eruption. Because there's no outs here. Um, so I think we're just going to strike pass. Which blocks for 6. Let me take 2. All 
right, flurry is always happening, strike's always happening. Um, we're currently blocking for eight and taking 16, um, which is going to put us in meat on the bone range. Um, I don't think we're playing any of the defense. Um, we're hoping for like Flurry of Blows eruption with, along with the strike next turn. Um, but unfortunately, this is looking like a long Gremlin Nub fight. Which is a little bit of a death, seek, death uh, sentence. Um, so, Crescendo double strike is 24 damage. It's not lethal. That would mean that we die. So, let's not do that. Um, we can't survive two turns. We can only survive one more turn. So, I think. Oh, wait. Our vulnerable is actually wearing off. Um, Is it possible that we're gonna survive two turns? Because he's hitting us for twenty-four now. Does he does he reapply vulnerable if it wears off? This never happens. <laughs> I have to look it up. Even though I fought Gremlin Nub probably literally a hundred times. Um I do not know what happens when his thing wears off. Um Okay, so he does it. So he does go back to Skull Bash after it. Okay, so he's only going to do eight damage on uh, the turn after this. So if we block for eight here, take sixteen, um, we go to seventeen, and then he hits us for eight. So we're actually continuing to survive here. Um, and if we start playing defends, we're not continuing to survive. So I think we're not. We're not going to play anything. Okay, so we can flurry fear no evil. Um, probably, probably this is lethal. So um, the damage would be flurry crescendo, um, flurry strike fear no evil flurry. Um, so that's flurry's damage times four. So it's going to be sixteen, um, and then twelve from this uh, in crescendo. So that's going to be twenty-eight plus um, sixteen from this. Uh, is lethal. Okay. And we have energy for it. We got him. Uh, that was a weird one. Um, very long fight for, for Gromanum. Number. Are you kidding me? We've got another talk to a hand? It's floor eight. We have two talk to the hands. Um, Ink model seems way better than Sapphire Key. We want to draw cards so we can get to our Flurry of Blows, especially once we uh, start activating Deva Form. We need all the card draw we can get. Um, do we fight another Elite? Or do we like go to this fire first? We're getting two fires either way. Um, and a shop either way. The shop is later if we go fight the Elite now. Um, and it can't be Gremlin Knob again, which is pretty helpful. Um, letter opener is actually a pretty big pickup against sentries. Um, we could probably proc that maybe twice um, in the fight. Especially with the retained skill. Um, and this is 50% chance to be um, sentries. Yeah, I think we go for it. We, um, as long as we survive the fight, we have meat on the bone, so we're not super afraid of dying. We do have to survive the fight, but... Okay, it is sentries. I think we're pretty well set up for this. Um, turn 1, Devaform Defend seems like the line. Um, we're probably not going to need all that much energy. Um, hmm, maybe we're not going to need the energy. Yeah, that's about it, yeah. Yeah, it's my secret strategy. <laughs> if we don't if we don't die, we'll survive. Um There's no way to proc um letter opener this turn. Um we can play talk to the hand, but it doesn't do anything other than five damage. Maybe we just play 
So if we play Deva form, we keep three cards in hand, so we block for eight. Um, I don't want to go too slow and end up with these with one of the outside ones attacking twice, though. Which seems like a significant danger. Um, Oricalcum will block with will stack with both blasts. That's true. Uh, that's true. We don't have to play defend at all. All right. So let's play Deva Form Strike. If we don't play Talk to the Hand, then it stays in our deck and continues to be an attack later. Um, I mean, we have to we have to play it eventually uh, for it to be for it to have a positive impact on the run um, or on the fight. But um, if there's a reason to skip it this time, we might as well do it. Extra energy in this fight is so useless, though. But I think I will do it. This is the fight where you really want that Deceive Reality. Deceive Reality is nuts in this fight. Did they not stack? I took one damage. Um, oh, it's because I played two cards, so I only had uh, three in hand. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, we can Flurry Crescendo, Flurry Double Strike Vigilance. Um, so that does Flurry times three, that's 12, plus um, two more 12, so that's 36, so we can kill him. Um, and exit in Vigilance to block out. Seems great. It doesn't actually block out, it mostly blocks out. We could keep this just to block out. Take zero. Um, if we don't play this, do we expect to take zero in the fight from here? I think we do. Because every turn we're drawing five cards, and then we can just Auric Alchem Cloak Clasp, like worst case scenario. So we never take more than 10 damage. All right, so we only get to play, oh wait, we can play, we can play blocks because when we have them, we're not afraid of that. Um, might as well play the talk of the hand. Um, he's lower health, so we might as well try and get him dead. Okay. We can't play Eruption or else we cease to be safe. Um, although in this case we have Vigilance, so we continue to be safe. Um, I guess we're going to put Talk to the Hand on him and leave him alive. So we can get Block Return on him if we need. Um, nothing we do matters, we just win inevitably. Um, we... okay, whatever. We have two defense. Um, oh, we get to play both because it's lethal, but otherwise we would have gotten to play one. Got a kunai. That seems good. Second flurry. Um... My concern is taking two flurries is kind of bad against um, Guardian. Um, I think we'll have to deal. We've got Kunai, so we could probably deal. Conclude is also very nice. Um, this is going to be our first hard pool fight. Yeah, that's true. So this could be like Gang of Slimes. Um, if it's Gang of Slimes, do we lose? Maybe, but probably not. Um, I'll skip Vigilance to do extra damage. He's frailed us, but we have so much uh, block that doesn't come from, from armor. Or from uh, cards. 
So we can talk to the hand, talk to the hand, strike. That generates um, two, four, which is six block, which is the same as Orc Alchem. So it's basically the same as not playing anything. Um, if we don't play anything, we block for 11. If we play those three, we do 16 damage, which does not split him. And we only block for um, eight, so we take 10. We also brought Kunai. Um, I think doing nothing and blocking for 11 is too slow. Oh, Ink Bottle causes me to block for one. That's nice. Okay, so we're in the magic range where we want to be. Um, our best health total to end fights at is either something above uh, 73 divided by 2 plus 12 or um, 73 divided by 2. Um, 73 divided by 2 is 36. Um, so we're there now. We don't want to take any more damage. Um, we can Flurry Crescendo, Flurry Strike. And then we have Flurry Eruption next turn. We're skipping David Farm, but we don't really need David Farm. Okay, Eruption is lethal, so we just uh, kill the one who's attacking. Okay. Third flurry? Uh, hmm. We do have kunai. Have two talk to the hands. I guess even against Guardian, flurries continue to to um, be playable with two talk to the hands. Okay, I'll take a third one. It's kind of a nuts run. <laughs> Vosh wrap? Sure. Um, okay, so I think we're upgrading both Talk of the Hands. Um, so that our our flurries actually generate positive block. Uh, White Beast Statue seems good. Uh, Mental Fortress procs in this deck. We do have some stance changing. Um, I think we're probably taking Empty Fists, though. Is Apotheosis good? Apotheosis is always kind of good. We need card draw. Simmering Fury's card draw and stance changing. Sanctity is card draw and block. Those are good things. Um, so we could do like Sanctity, Simmering Fury, Empty Fist card remove, I think. It's like 166, um, 191. 266, so we'd have uh, 55 left over. Could buy a strength potion if we wanted to. Consecrate. Um, or we could buy White Beast Statue and have 40 left, actually 35, which is still enough to buy Empty Fist. So we could White Beast Statue Empty Fist. It's pretty good. White Beast Statue makes, um, whatchamacallit, um, Sacred Bark much better. Um, as a um, boss elite, or a boss uh, relic, a boss elite. Um, I think it's pretty unlikely that we end up holding flurries for cloak clasp, because in that hypothetical, the flurries are blocking for one, but that means that we haven't played either of the talk to the hands, or I guess maybe we were, we're against an opponent that has artifact charges. I don't know. Um, it might happen, but it, I think it's uh, it's pretty unlikely. I really like the Simmering Fury, though. Um, the more I've played Watcher, the more I like Simmering Fury. Um, just, like, entering Wrath and drawing two cards is, like, something you want to do really frequently. <laughs> Plus, sometimes it's, like, you enter Wrath and draw two cards, and then you enter Divinity, <laughs> and you're like, aha! <laughs> Take that, Wrath. You just drew me two cards to spend with my extra energy. Yeah, I think I like the Simmering Fury Sanctity Empty Fist card remove line better. I, 
really do like Wavy's statue, though. Hey, look, I did all my math right. I have 55. Okay. Yeah, it, it's definitely possible it could come up. Um, I think we have enough health that we can afford to upgrade the Olu Talk to the Hand. Um, all right, let's go for it. Crazy good act one. Sort of can't believe it. Um, if we play Flurry Eruption Flurry, we're more likely to break Guardian um, on turn two. But if we skip David Form, we don't ever get it back. Um, and we did just pick a bunch of card draw, so the pressure's kind of on to play David Form now. I think I'll crumble to that pressure. Or accede to the pressure, rather. It's a much more fun word than crumble. Um, let's drink the liquid bronze before he hits us. Um, there's no buffer or anything to go get. Um, so we're just going to get hit back for a bunch. Um, but it looks like we get to pay him back. should be fine. Um, Sanctity draws two of these. Um, we have three, six, nine cards in hand, so it's safe. Let's do that and try to get the other top of the hand. Um, we're going way past his armor, so let's just do that. It doesn't really matter what the order is. Um, It's 69 armor. Nice. Uh, Cloak class ruined it. Uh, Alright, Flurry Blows are giving positive block here. So we'll play those. And then Fear No Evil likewise gives positive block. Well, this is silly. We could continue to block him out in Crescendo, but there's no reason to do that this turn. Other than it's lethal, but I don't think it is. Okay. Um, we don't want to play Sanctity, or at least we don't want to draw cards with Sanctity this turn, or play Simmering Fury. We want to draw exactly these cards and keep all the Flurry Blows in the discard. Um, so let's play Sanctity first. Oh crap, Ink Bottle. Um, Alright, forget everything I said. We're drawing cards. Um, do we have Lethal? Crescendo plus um, three flurries with uh, one strength? No. Hey, we got two of the flurries back. Maybe it was lethal. I'm not sure why those flurries were doing 10. Was he vulnerable or something? Why are they doing so much damage? They're only supposed to do 4. Oh, 4 plus 1 is 5, and then times 2 is 10. I don't know. Simple math. Um, establishment's great. Scrawl is, is great. Uh, Scrawl is super good with Deva form decks. Um, establishment is better if we try and... Um, try and proc the cloak class, get 10 retained cards in hand, basically. Or 5 retained, 5 natural cards in hand. Um, alpha is a totally different game plan, and we've got a game plan that works really well already, so we're not doing that. Um, we have a lot of draw outside of scrawl, so I'm not super convinced I need it. Um, scrawl is really good, though. And... Um, a lot of times, what's good with draw is just more draw. Um, we didn't pick any of the, um, the reality-based cards in Act 1 for the establishment. 
In fact, establishment is currently only hitting one card, and that's Crescendo. Um, which is not great. Um, we don't really need to go out on a limb. We don't need any speculative cards because we're we've we've got re something really solid. We've got talk to the hand, three flurry of blows, and a kunai. Um, we're set. We just need to execute on the rest of the the game. Um, so I think scrawl helps us do that. Whereas these are like adding another dimension to the deck. Okay. Um. I think we're picking Sozu, and we're like so glad we didn't pick up White Beast Statue. Because um, we have really good relics to just hold on to forever. Um, Fairy in a Bottle in particular. Um, one of our potion slots is already just blocked up until if we ever die. Um, and uh, I'm fine carrying Power Pot until the heart, if need be. Um, Philosopher's Stone is very dangerous. Um, curse Key would require us to take at least one Curse, which I would like to avoid. So yeah, I think it's going to be Sozu. Man, I was so close to taking that White Beast Statue. Think about how different this decision would be with the White Beast Statue. I was thinking about it because it made um, Sacred Bark good. I wasn't thinking about how it makes Sozu bad. Um, I guess we didn't have a Fairy in a Bottle at the time. Um, fairy in a Bottle makes... Um, Makes White Beast Statue quite a bit worse. Um, cool. What would you have done instead of Sozu? Sorry, I, I read your thing a little bit too late, but uh, what, what do you like? Uh, do you like Kursky? That's probably my second. Uh, we basically want to fight as many elites as we can. Um, it looks like two is our limit if we don't want to take the mega elite. Can we just take the mega elite? That's, I, you're very confident in saying that fairy pot won't go to the heart. Um, what makes you so confident? I mean, we won't see any dupe potions now. <laughs> We're not going to see any more potions. Um, I think I like this elite, and then if we're, like, crazy strong here, we can go fight the mega elite, but probably we're just going to take these extra fires and go fight this guy. Uh, it gives us a couple of question marks to turn into a ghost or something. Yeah, I mean, sure. If we if we um, if we took cursed key, we definitely would be spending that power potion more aggressively for sure. Um, like we'd probably be spending it on this turn if we took cursed key. Um, so this turn's pretty scary. Well, we're not going into um, eruption. Do we just hold the cards for the max, um, the max like Oric Alchem Cloak Clasp value? Um, I think we do. This fight's pretty scary. I kind of want to maintain that life, um, and the flurry blows don't really do anything. We could, like, double flurry strike, and we would get one plated armor and three damage. Um, and for the privilege, we'd take three. Mm, actually, that's probably worth it. So we go from taking um, ten to taking thirteen. We're gonna get down to that um, that breakpoint pretty quickly, um, the like thirty six uh, for the meat on the bone. I'm not trying to get there, but um, 
we have to get plated armor off. Somehow. We also get a dex, worth mentioning. Okay, there's the talk to the hand. Um... We could crescendo, get back to the flurries, talk to the hand, double flurry, empty fist, double flurry. That seems good. After we crescendo, we could sanctity. Um, we are skipping diva form with this line, but I think that's okay. It's a hallway fight. We don't really need diva form for him. Ink bottle drew us the other flurry of blows as well. Um, if we draw two of these cards, we might draw talk to the hand, and then we wouldn't be able to play it. And that'd be bad. Did not realize I was going to be off by one. Uh, okay, so that's lethal. Um, I guess I should have played some block cards at the end of that fight to set up Ink Bottle for the next one. That's a mistake. Um, cut through fates are good with the um, the energy stuff we're doing, well, like five energy deck plus Deva form thing. Uh, also helps you proc uh, Kunai. You can even set up your ink bottle draws with the Scrime. Um, although it needs an upgrade to do that. But. Bites uh, cost no current health, gives me two extra attacks. Um, yeah, I think I like Bites. Um, getting some max HP is not too bad with Bites. Um, we should be able to get back the current HP. Um, it does hurt, obviously. Um, do we Are we dodging this elite? We're kind of low health. We could go left here. Take some hallway fights instead. Uh, does this question mark ever heal us? Um, I'm going to look at Act 2 stuff for a second. Um, no, I don't think it does. Unless it's... If it's a fight, we can obviously heal from it, but... Um, None of these specific Act 2 events do it. Oh, Library does. Um, okay, so what about Act 2 Hallway Fights? How often do they heal us? So in the easy pool, we could probably heal off of um, birds. Um, and maybe Spirit Guardian? Off in the hard pool, we can heal off of Centurion and Mystic for sure. Um, Sneko maybe. Um, probably like Chosen and Bird. Cultist and Chosen. Um... Yeah, I think we still take the Elite. Uh, well, these are useless. Um, I'll pay 20 gold to not have my face punched, I think. It's just three. We could end up healing to full at this fight. Um, if it's birds. No. Okay, well, um, I guess let's play all the attacks. This is a really good fight to have some, uh, 
have some non um, um, non dexterity sources of block. Uh, did we play a flurry last turn? We did, so we can um, flurry crescendo empty fist to do some stuff. Uh, we could mix scrawl in there too. We have four energy, so we can play all the expensive cards. Um, although scrawl is going to draw us some other cards that cost energy, presumably. Um, hmm. If we go into Crescendo, are we killing him too fast? We kind of want to get some bites in, right? I don't think I'm too worried about killing him too fast. Um, this never gets another bite because we're out of energy. Um, we could scrawl and then end turn. Um, but he's... Does he get extra block here? No, he doesn't. Um, just because I have the monster page in front of me, I'm just going to verify that. Um... It's been slam and harden. Oh, he only does the debuff once per fight? Huh. I didn't know that. Um. Alright, I will s I'll, I'll try to get one more bite in on him. Fourth flurry blows, it seems a bit much. Um, but is it? They're good. We have Kunai. There has to be some number that's the correct number, right? And if I'm not taking a fourth, I'm saying that number is three. Um, with three in the deck, I have um, sort of one flurry per, um, per ten cards, approximately. So I kind of have to like draw two hands to find a flurry. And if I get four, I'm tending towards one per hand. Five would be one per hand. Ish. Um, one per hand actually sounds pretty nice. I think we'll take another one. Okay. It's gremlins and they're attacking on turn one. My goodness. What does it mean? Uh, we can kill Fat Gremlin if we want. Probably want to play Deva Form. Um, probably want to kill Sneaky Gremlin. Uh, the Fat Gremlin debuffs are normally really important. But we have some fairly significant non, uh, non-skill block. Um... So I want to kill Sneaky Gremlin, but I also want to establish top of hand on the leader. And I want to play Deva Form, and I can't do all those things. Unless I open the Power Potion and there's a Deva Form in there. Um, so what are my priorities? We could bite, cut through fate on the Sneaky Gremlin and then play Deva Form. Uh, take a bunch of damage and hopefully bite our way back. Ends up being 23 damage. And we get Fat Gremlin debuffed. I think as long as we can kill Fat Gremlin next turn, it's probably okay. Cut Through Fate also lets us uh, look for Flurry of Blowses. Flurries. Um, we don't really need the Bite. Would we rather have Bite in our hand or a random card? I think it's a random card so that we can get more flurries. A lot of hate for the uh, Monster Train. Um, surely people must be interested in playing Monster Train, though. Maybe you just don't want it spoiled. You want to play it for yourself the first time. 
that would be a perspective I could get behind. Uh, this will do 12, this does 3, 12 plus 3 is lethal, so it's Flurry Blows him and then Eruption him. And hope we get a stance exit. We did. Um, so we can use Fear and be able to kill Fat Gremlin and um, use the Flurries to kill Mad Gremlin. Yeah, I just, uh, there's a lot of games in the world, and I have chosen to play Slay the Spire, so, like, a new game coming out that I've never played before does not, like, instantly change my mind, like, oh, I have to do this one, right? It's like, there's probably, like, a ton of competition over there as well, so, like, I'll just do what I'm doing. People can watch if they want. Um, okay, so we need to play the flurries before we change stances and develop the talk of a hand. And then change stances, kill you, get some decks. Um, do we ever not do damage to Gremlin later? Um, just for a... Uh, just to keep him alive longer so we can bite him? It seems like the height of foolishness. Um, I think we do Simmering 3. If we change stances next turn... We, uh, we end up with a ton of energy and a Scrawl in hand. Which seems like a good uh, position to be in. Um, I would like to shuffle with the Flurries in hand. We have 10 energy. So let's go ahead and toss the Bites out. Oh, there's our Shuffle. Okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, uh, so just jumping into the conversation in the chat, I think that, like, if Monster Train's a really good game, maybe it can build up to um, the heights of Slay the Spire. I think it's, I'm, I'm pretty hyped about it. It seems like it's going to be pretty good. Um, but Sl Slay the Spire does have a massive lead on it. Um, am I wrong to be biting here? Do I want to be at um, 28 instead of 36? Um, let's just try and kill him. Let's not get too fancy. Um, I would love to get a bite to kill him with, though. Um, that's right, let it open him. Okay, there's a card reality. Um... We didn't take the establishment. Um, yeah, I, it's. Um, I wonder. I wonder where that like line is. Like first stain, you definitely have more followers than me. I believe Red Beardy, you do as well. So I think you guys would both have a little bit different experience um, with uh, with switching into Monster Train. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't know if I'm. I feel like you get very little um, uh, organic traffic, um, so you kind of have to be like the top of the list already um, to get the organic traffic, and I don't think I would be if I went over there. Also, I don't own the game, so I'd have to buy it, all that stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to buy it, that's a joke. Um, evaluate. Um, it helps me draw a little bit. It's kind of card draw neutral, which is unusual for a card that you're putting in your deck. Um, Carve Reality helps you spend extra energy on attacking uh, and proc kunai on turns when you otherwise might not. Also helps uh, Cloak Clasp block for 10. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any huge competition here for Carve Reality, so I think we'll just take one. Aha! This is the fight where we can get to full. Um, as long as we're surviving. 
So let's save a form. And um, if we talk to the hand flurry, we miss out on Oracalcum. Um, so I think our max end of turn health is achieved by biting and then letting uh, Oracalcum and Click Clasp block for 10. Interesting. 20% of your average concurrent peak. You know, um, I, don't, I haven't talked about this uh, on stream before, but I actually did quite a bit of like modeling. Um, for me, um, streaming is a marketing expense, right? Because I'm trying to build, build a community to eventually sell a game to. Um, and, um, and so I have like estimates about like per stream, how many people would click on a um, like YouTube link. <laughs> Uh, to like go watch the trailer for the game and like how that interacts with the rest of the funnel. 20% um, is a big drop off, um, but that's like, it's a pretty different, um, um, different like conversion that I'm generally talking about. Um, here's a neat trick. We can like bite, bite, scrawl, and then end the turn with a bunch of cards. Um, we can flurry fear no evil and then double flurry. Interesting. What do you mean by community games? Do you mean just like any indie game? I would think that Monster Train, that's that, what he's doing on day one is probably not indicative of if he like switched from doing Slay the Spire to Monster Train full time. Because like today there's a bunch of people who's who are excited to go play Monster Train. But like in three days, a bunch of Baylor's community would be like, what? Uh, I, I don't want to see Monster Train again. I came here for Slay the Spire. I'm sick of this Monster Train, you know? Um, so I bet he would have more fall off over time as the excitement dies off. Um, here's a weird thing. I'm gonna crescendo and then sanctity so that we shuffle with all the um, flurries in hand. Okay, so we killed him. him. Now, we're not gonna kill Mystic for a long time. Um, we're gonna put her low enough that she heals herself. Um, but we're gonna get to full health before we let her die. Um, I think Empty Fist Bite is good. So we can't bite again without killing her. We're currently blocking for quite a bit. I think we're actually blocking out. Yeah, six plus seven, so that's good. No, hey, no, that's not, that's not distracting. Uh, we can't do anything this turn without killing her. Um, so we'll pass. Okay, now she's got a little bit more health, and then we can eat that health. Delicious, delicious mystic. Um, I'm not going to cut through fate. If I leave her with a little bit of health, then eventually I can um, talk to the hand on her, which would be nice. Get a little bit of block return when I bite her. There it is. Um... Uh, Carver Adley stays in my hand and gives block return, so that's like the way to get the max block. We're still taking a little bit of damage here. Um, we can't 
fight without killing her. Um, we're gonna go ahead and defend Sanctity. Just to try and draw more bites. Um, Carve Reality gives us more passive blocks, so I'll play that. That's a bite. Um, this could get me another bite. That's good enough. There's one. Okay. I can play one bite without killing her. Need to be careful about accidentally letter opening her to death as well. That's a concern. Um, did I misclick? I just played Eruption? I thought Eruption was a bite. I guess they both got red colors in them and I wasn't paying attention. Um, crap. Well, I could just kill her, but this is going to set me way back. Getting hit for 26 here. I guess I can sank today. I'm blocking for 5 at the end of the turn. Uh, there's nothing online. Um, if you'd like to see something, uh, you might have enough channel points for the uh, the playtest reward. Um, that, that'll let you see the, the current progress. Actually, um, the game's not currently playable, so I'm a little bit trepidatious in re recommending that. Um, I did a big refactor uh, over the last week, um, so uh, I like swapped out the... Um, there were like sort of separate systems for like moving and attacking and, and using magic. And I like combined all those to a broader skill system that's more compatible with uh, procedural generation, um, which I think is a positive change for the game overall, but made the game uh, unplayable for the moment. Uh, let's go back into vigilance so that we're not killing her with these bites. Um. Almost there. Two more health. <laughs> okay, we're full health, so we can just go in now. Great. Alright. I hate doing that. Whenever you get bites, I feel like the game changes in a really awkward way. It's like, oh, now you've got this other side job. Um... Are we interested in Tantrum? I feel like we need a couple more stance exits, um, but we are interested in Tantrum. We need stance exits or calm enters. Get on in here, Tantrum. Um, this is a decision point that we called out earlier. If we're feeling super strong, we should go left. Otherwise, we should go fight this guy. Uh, those fires look pretty nice. Um, not super hyped about this shop, although we do have enough money that we'll be able to buy a shop relic we need to. Um, what are we getting for those upgrades? Um, we've got all the really important ones, the uh, talk of the hands. Maybe like Scrawl is next. Maybe you can just mention Coconut in chat and then Bmod will spend all his points so that you can you can save up for a playtest.
loves quesadillas. I make quesadillas sometimes, and legitimately she'll like lick the plate. I don't know if you're expecting a real answer to that, but the answer is yes, <laughs> strongly. Um, what are we doing for now? What's the next thing? Apparently we're looking at our deck. I don't know why that's happening. Look at that, now I can pet a cat and have my headset on. What a world we live in. The technology is real. Uh, okay, we're looking at a loot screen. Oh, right, we're making this decision. Um, oh, we were looking at this for upgrades, right. Um, scrawl is big. Um, I wish that Diva form cost two when you upgraded it. But that'd probably be too good. Also, it's Diva form. Um, hmm. Upgrades are not that important. Bite upgrades might be at the top of the list. Which is a, a sign. We don't really need upgrades. Eruption could be up there. Cut through fate. So we don't really need the upgrades, but are we going to survive if we go this way? We're at full health right now. Um, I mean, speculating on big cards is best, like, in Act 1, right? You don't want to really want to be speculating later on, but you need to take some risks to win Ascension 20. Um, and the speculating is, you know, it's, it's a little bit risky, but it's... Uh, you also just kind of have to do it to win, right? You have to um, pick something really powerful that isn't powerful yet and then make it powerful. Um, I just, like, if this is slavers or something, we're going to take 20 damage on turn one. Um, and we're not going to bite back to full health, and then we're going to go into this fight and get killed by a strength book of stabbing. It's just not a good idea. So we just have to go this way. Uh, we could recall right now if we're really unenthusiastic about our upgrades. I don't think we're quite at that point. Um, probably cut through fate. Get some extra cards. And see what's in here. A bottled lightning. That's something we're interested in. Uh, we could up get scrawl in our opening hand. Um, opening up with Scrawl is pretty nuts. Um, Simmering Fury is kind of the other option. It's gotta be Scrawl though, right? Okay, and now I feel like we have to upgrade Scrawl because now it's bottled. Um, much more important than it was before. Um, this is gonna give us a lot more reliable turn one Deva form. Um, it's going to be really good. Um, yeah, that was really sweet. It's, makes me feel good. People in the community like each other. Check. <laughs> uh, we get Vigilance, Scrawl, try and find Deva Form, and Block Out. Um, are we trying to find Deva Form in this fight? Also, if we scroll first, we could find Flurry of Blows and then Vigilance and play them twice. Um, also, if we scroll and find uh, Tantrum, then we can Tantrum and then Vigilance and get back out. I think the arguments for scroll first are better than the arguments for Vigilance first. Um, it would be nice to make some hand room. We could play Simmering Fury and then scroll. It looks like we're ending this turn in Calm, most likely. So then we could get some energy going to Wrath next turn. All right, let's do that to draw an extra card. All right, no Deva form. Um, but we do have Eruption and Vigilance, so we could... Um, what are we doing here? We could, like, Flurry of Blows, Vigilance, um, Flurry of Blows, Eruption, get two energy play the Flurry of Blows in like a Bite and an Empty Fist. I think that's pretty, pretty reasonable. Okay. No talk to the hands either. Did a lot of drawing that turn and didn't get much out of it.
Uh, I was assuming this blocks out. Uh, looks like it just barely does. Code in advance stats for relics. Ooh, that sounds fun. Uh, it can't be too difficult. Uh, I think you'd have to do it per relic, but um, the game's in Java, so it's pretty open. Um, and then you could like put a little extra, um, an extra little nubbin under the under the thing, a little explainer like dexterity. This relic has healed you for. You've gained a total of forty dexterity from Kunai. An average of three per fight. No, averages are always decimals. Um, so we're in Wrath, and we can't get out. So I guess we need to block for a lot. Oh, we're killing. Great. I like killing people. Um... Uh, okay, sorry, I'm reading chat and uh, getting distracted. Um, Brilliance doesn't ever get any extra value. Cut through fate um, is good with all the form energy. Um, Worship is, is a pretty decent card if you want to have one card that gets you into uh, Divinity. I don't really see why we would want to do that. Um, I think it's cut through fate. I'll take another one. Proc count's a little bit silly, though, because there's there's some uh, relics that proc every fight. So it's like, how often has your helix proc'd? Well, it's like, well, it proc'd every fight, but how, how much health did it save you, right? Like, that's not really related to the ori original proc. Um, okay, so we want to finish this fight with full health. Um, and I think it would be helpful to... Dave form on turn one. Um, so I think we're just going to sprawl. We're not going to defend to make hand room because we might want to proc Orc Alchem. Okay. We're not proccing Orc Alchem, but that's fine. Um, double talk, double bite, um, presumably blocks out. Um, we end up with six cards in hand. Um, and then three uh, plus 12 block, so 15 block plus six. Yeah, we block out exactly. Okay. Um, we could carve reality instead of bite um, to keep an extra card in hand, set up for future kunai procs. We're also already at full health. Okay. Okay, so we could flurry, feel no evil, flurry, fear no evil. Um. Uh, 14 plus 11 is 25. Need to block a little bit more than that. Or a little bit more than we've currently got. So this is blocking for 25. Um, we could play Bite, but we would draw a card if that card is Deva Farm. Actually, are we sad if it's save a form? Do we care? I don't think we care. Tantrum. I was kind of thinking about Tantrum too. So we get back a single Flurry of Blows. We block for... We do 12 damage and block for... Um, 18. So yeah, we block for more than his damage increases by... Oh wait, no. We're taking 25, so the damage increases by... 25. Um, so we block for 12 plus another 6, so we block for 18, so it's a net um, incoming damage change of um, uh, plus 7, and we're currently only blocking by 4, so we would lose um, 3 current health, so no thank you. I guess I'll smack because I have the energy.
Uh, okay. If we Simmering Fury, we would get a full hand next turn with all these cards. That's a bunch of flurries and a crescendo. That seems fun. Um, or we could cut through fate and try and draw them now. We actually could draw most of them now. Cut through fate plus Sanctibay. Uh, we have one flurry, so we probably can't kill Shield Parasite, but maybe we can. This puts him to 11, and then we hit him for, f for 5. We have one strength, right? Yeah, 5. So he goes to 6. So yeah, we actually would kill him. Why not Tantrum plus Smite? Um, the, uh, I talked about the damage a bit. I didn't count, um, if it was lethal. If it was lethal, then I probably should have done it, but I didn't, I didn't think about that. I'm not sure if that's what your comment means. Okay, we've blocked out. We're still at full health. Um... Okay, and then we've got Lethal. Cool. I need to think about Ink Bottle at the end of fights. I don't know why I'm not doing it. Um, halt is pretty good if you're going in and out of um, Wrath, especially if you have extra decks. Um, yeah, you're totally right. It was Lethal, but whatever. We got through the fight with no damage. That's, so you know, all roads lead to Rome. Um... Uh, Halt is really good. We need a lot of card draw to support Halt being in the deck. Um, and we already have a really good plan for blocking, so I'm a little bit skeptical about Halt. Because it doesn't draw any cards itself. Um, we do have a lot of cards like uh, Cut Through Fate and um, Sanctity and Scrawl and stuff, so maybe it does work. Um, also, deck scaling is kind of insane with Kunai. Um, I also like Just Lucky with Kunai. Um, deals damage, um, procs Kunai, procs and activates Kunai. Like, it, it, it works with both sides of Kunai, I guess I'm trying to say. It is an attack, so you can cause Kunai procs with it, and it also blocks, so you get the value from the dexterity. So both Halt and Just Lucky cost zero and kind of work with Kunai twice. Um, Halt's more powerful. Um, is it doing something we need to do, though? It seems like we're comfortably blocking out all the time. Um, that's not true for Hyperbeam Guy, though. I think we might need a halt to block Hyperbeam Mine. Okay, let's go for that, then. Um, Prism is available. Inner Peace, uh, that's a, a, a Wrath Exit, which is something we're looking for. So we could, like, Inner Peace card remove. Rush down some more card draw as well. Um, we're getting a little bit full, um, and rush down has kind of an awkward property with um, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Talk to the hand is is such a busted card. It's just it's staggeringly good. Um, I I cannot I cannot explain. Um, I think Talk to the Hand should give one block return and should upgrade to giving two. Um, and I think Rage should draw you a card. <laughs> I think that would bring them a lot closer. Uh, Rush, the reason Rushdown is awkward is we have a ton of Flurry of Blows. Um, so when we're entering Wrath, we're already... like you, you When you enter Wrath, you have a bunch of attacks in hand that you want to use with Wrath, and then you're also drawing a bunch of flurries, and then rush down is trying to draw you more cards, and um, you just don't have enough room in hand for all that uh, business to happen at the same time. Um, so I don't think I'm going to buy rush down. I think I'm going to buy inner peace and card remove a defend. Okay. Interesting. Ticking down. I think if it... I think ticking down would be fine, but then talk to the hand would need to not exhaust, um, so that you can still live the fantasy of it like building up. Um, I don't know what she's yelling about. She's standing in front of her food bowl yelling at me, but she has food. 
sometimes ants get in it, but I don't think that's happening. Um, hmm. We want to scrawl. Do we bite first? I think no. We need to talk to the hand. So let's just look for one. We want to bite after it. There's one. Uh, we have... We could tantrum and then exit. Yeah, she's she's old and has failing kidneys, so I think she can just... <laughs> she can get away with just yelling whenever she wants. Life is hard. Um... I want to play Tantrum and Vigilance, and uh, use Vigilance to exit Wrath, and use Tantrum to get a bunch of block from that. So does that actually work? So we Talk to the Hand, Flurry of Blows, Tantrum. So that's four procs of Talk to the Hand, so we're getting back 12. Then we Vigilance and Flurry of Blows again, getting back another three. Um, so we block for 15, he's hitting for 24. We end up with um, three, five, um, six cards in hand. Um, oh shoot, I forgot all the numbers. No. Okay, so we're, block we're hitting, procking Talk of the Hand five times. It's 15 block. Um, yeah, I wish you could overheal. That'd be fun. I think it's, I think it's good enough. Um, oh, I totally forgot about that. That blocks for one. Yeah, I, my math must have been wrong, because I thought it was close, and it is not close. Um, is this lethal? Um, we go... If it was lethal, we should have done it at the beginning of the turn. Uh, currently blocking for 17, and taking 7. We can probably heal back 7. Um, if we tantrum and play a flurry, we draw a card. That card is a stance exit sometimes. Um, sometimes it's a cut through fate. So if we can't cut through fate as an out, then we've got one, two, three outs. Oh, four outs. Four outs out of 14. It's not terrible. Uh, the downside, though, is we take a lot of damage. <laughs> We're currently taking seven. Um, if we tantrum, we proc um, block return um, five times, so we block for 30. Actually, it's positive block to tantrum right now, um, which is kind of unbelievable. And we did find the Sans exit. We actually don't even need it. He's only hitting us for 42. Oh wait, no, he's hitting for us for 48. Okay, so we needed it just a little bit. Okay, should be able to get lethal next turn. See, this is what I'm talking about when I said, like, the we need, like, relics that interact with events. Because the, like, the blood vial um, bite event is, is, like, one of the one of the high points of Slate the Spire design. Like, that's something that gets people talking. Okay, I'm going to think about Ink Bottle. I'm going to do it. You can't stop me. Um, Alright, we got it on 8. Good enough. What would Tungsten Rod do? If you, I think Tungsten Rod should interact with the, uh, the Flaming Skull. If you get Tungsten Rod and Flaming Skull, he should just be like, Oh my god, you're the one, and just like give you two of each of the procs. <laughs> you got like two potions, a bunch of gold. I mean, it, it, it does k kinda, right? It like interacts with them mechanically, but I want it to interact with it fictionally. Um, no, none of these are good enough. Uh, we need card draw more than we need any more attacks. Uh, okay, we're at full health. Um, I guess we're smithing. Presumably it's not time to recall yet. Uh, inner piece gets an extra card. Um, halt just gets bigger numbers. Yeah, we don't care about that. Cut through fate gets more cards. Tantrum gets another proc. 
Um, Empty Fist gets a ton of damage for some reason. Uh, David Form gets a little bit more playable. Um, I'm a little bit afraid of getting Deva Form stolen in this fight. Because it's the only rare card in the deck. These little Orbeez are going to grab it. If they have a chance. Oh wait, it's not the only rare. It's just the only unupgraded rare. Um, but I guess there's no way that um, Scrawl is surviving. Because I'm playing it on turn one pretty much every fight. Um... I guess we're going for Cut Through Fate. I wish that Sanctity got a third card. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'll go Cut Through Fate. Okay. All right, thanks to Marbles, we got rid of one artifact. Do we, we don't have any way of getting rid of artifact, do we? We have no wave of the hand. Our entire deck just doesn't work at all against this. Uh, I was just totally not um, preparing for this moment. I totally forgot he had artifact charges until right now. Um, cool. So we just have to get a lot of decks. That's the only way we can do it. Okay. Um, sure. Alright, let's draw a bunch of cards. And find Deva form? No. Um, we could s draw more with Sanctidame, uh, but we can't draw now because we would overdraw. And um, if we play Flurry of Blows to make Hand Room, we don't activate Sanctity. And then if we play Flurry of Blows and then a Defend, then we can't play Deva form. So I think we're just going to play four attacks, um, get a Kunai proc, get another Kunai proc. Um, actually, maybe Cut Through Fate can get uh, Deva form. Yeah, let's give it a chance to, to do that. Oh, it did. Um, oh, well, that seems important. an interesting idea, leaving an orbling up. Um, we can calm and draw. Uh, we have bites too, so if we survive the attack, we can heal a little bit. Um, I think I like calm and draw. Uh, three, six, eight cards so we can draw. Uh, we can do a bunch of damage. Um, we don't have a eruption exit, or a wrath exit. Uh, we do have halt. So maybe just getting there is good enough. Um, he's going to take tantrum, he's going to take a bite. We probably want tantrum back. Do we block for more if we go into Wrath? Because like he, we double his damage, but we also double our block and our deck scaling. How much decks would we need to get for that to be a good idea? So he's attacking for 16 currently, he'd go up to 32. So we would need 16 decks for that to be a good idea. Um, doesn't seem like that's probably happening. Um, actually, no, because we, we gain 10 attack. Yeah, we would need... Um, we would need seven decks for that to be good, or six decks for it to be fair. Seven for it to be good. It's not crazy far away, but not happening this turn. We do draw a card with Ink Bottle, and if that card is Tantrum, then they both take Bites. Which is weird. Um, we really need decks, though. And if we just let him hit us, then we have room to heal with Bites. Um, and we get to play the Flurry of Blows more. Alright, let's play the first three Flurries. 
Let's see what we draw. It is Tantrum. Um... So they're both taking bites, so if we kill one we can get back a bite on a future turn. Just not sure if that we need to do any tactical positioning about that. Oh he can't he can take tantrum because I played it, so he will take tantrum back. Um we have crescendo, we don't super need tantrum. Alright, so we want to play two more attacks before we halt. Um, um, okay. So if we bite this guy, we set him up so that we can kill him. If we bite this guy, we leave him alone so that we can talk of hand on the orbing. Orbling. Um, we did end up blocking out, which is pretty exciting. Getting a bunch of decks. We're up to five decks. This deck is blistering fast. Um, I think we're just going to go for the automaton. Um, we can only draw cards with uh, Crescendo Sanctity here. Um, we could do um, 1632, 48, 58 damage to Orbling and uh, grab the Tantrum back, avoid the 16 damage. Um, probably a more efficient way to do it with the smite. Uh, I think, yeah, smite, bite, flurry does it. Um, 16, uh, 42, 52, yeah, it's pretty efficient. Um, let's just save the crescendo. Why are we saving crescendo though? Yeah, let's just burn the crescendo. Okay, now we can empty fist to get flurry back. Um, we still don't have any block though, so I think we do have to kill the orbling. Uh, actually, as long as we end up with um, five cards in hand, we block out. Hmm. Or we could end up with uh, not in wrath. He is attacking next turn, so ending up not in wrath is pretty reasonable. Yeah, okay. All right, let's just end not in wrath. Okay. Uh, pummel this little dude. Get a little bit of block out of him. And go back into wrath. Um, hmm. We could go fear no evil to exit um, wrath. That also kills him. And then we get we exit Wrath and get Tantrum back at the same time, which is nice. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure about it initially, but it, it did end up... Uh, it mostly just ended up being part of my plan by coincidence. I was like, well, I killed this guy, and then he's at full health, so <laughs> might as well. Um... Okay, and then Fear No Evil kills you. Do we need to kill him? We could just not kill him. Yeah, but we get Tantrum back, uh, which is a ton of damage. Um, 
And that's lethal. Um, I guess we could have gone for more bites, but we don't need to risk that. Cool. Um, Devotion's the other sort of one card. Um, uh, yeah, we could have built it in Glottola too, that's, that's true. Um, uh, Devotion is the other sort of one card uh, divinity solution other than uh, worship. Um, but I don't think we're really looking for a divinity solution. So I think it's just a second scrawl. Um, it feels like the first scrawl in the deck, because the this scrawl is really just like, it's two copies of um, uh, prepared backpack stacked together, basically. So uh, it's nice to have a scrawl like just in the deck somewhere as well. Uh, we don't have very many defends left for uh, Pandora's box to go change. Um, Coffee Dripper helps uh, us do what we're trying to do, and we don't really need to rest because of all the bites. So that's pretty appealing. Um, although, you never know when you're going to need to rest in the Act 4 campsite. Sometimes the Act 3 bosses will get you. Um... Yeah, we play a lot of cards. I think we're pretty worried about Time Lord here. Um, Kunai against Time Lord is always a bit of a struggle. Um, a little bit less so against the Heart, because the um, Talk of the Hands are pretty effective against the Beat. Um, hey, Sir Artemal, how's it going? Yeah, I mean, Coffee Dripper's the only energy relic, and that gets, like, that gets Deva form going. It lets us pick more draw. Um, it's bad against um, Time Lord, though, and Time Lord's already the hardest one. We should pick something else. We should not pick Coffee Dripper. Um, are we getting rid of the last defense? We could take Pandora's box. Um, in most fights, we're trying to block with Talk to the Hands. Um, but we do have the kunai, um, and uh, those defends are kind of the only way we're paying it off. We have, like, a copy of Halt and, like, Sanctity. That's kind of it. Vigilance, I guess. Um, yeah. Blackstar is a thing. Um, what could Blackstar get us that we're super happy with? Um... Like a golden eye. I would like a golden eye. Um, <laughs> yeah, this, none of these options are amazing. These are all pretty weak. None of them are bad, though. I think they all do good things for the deck. Um, I mean, we've kind of been hunting the entire game because we started out Slaver Scholar. Which is weird that we have so few relics. It really feels like we've been going after all the elites. We had like a four elite act one. Yeah, that's the problem with Pandora's box is the defends are, are so nice. Um, but if I could trade them for halts and card draw, I would do it, you know. I just don't know what I'm getting. Uh, we could get another talk to the hand out of it too. Um, Ooh, you know what we could get? We could get Wave of the Hand. We really need something that gets rid of um, uh, artifact charges. Um, we can get that with um, Pandora's Box. Let's just grab uh, Black Star. Maybe we get like um, Marbles or something. Oh, we already have Marbles. Um, I guess the other one's Red Mask, and you can't get Red Mask with Black Star. Um. <laughs> Shuriken, that's true. Shuriken would be insane. I just, we don't really need Coffee Dripper that much, but we also don't need Rest Sites. Like, an extra energy is really good. Uh, 
Um, would you target it then? So you'd target it on an enemy? It's like, that's that's a really massive change in how, how it works, though. Because if you target it on an enemy, then, like, if that enemy has an artifact charge, it doesn't work. And, like, Wave of the Hand is mostly for, like, removing artifact charges. Um, be a pretty different card if it had a single target. I'm not saying the, the, the idea is bad. I, I do like things that upgrade to be, like, totally different, um, rather than just, like, fiddling with the numbers a little bit. I see. Yeah, that could work, too. I think I'm going to go with Coffee Dripper. Um, Coffee Dripper makes the thing that Beck's trying to do better, um, which is pretty important. He does make us worse against Time Lord, but the deck is just bad against Time Lord. I don't know what to say. Maybe we pick up something that costs X. The only deck has, so we have a 50% chance to dodge Time Lord. Um... Okay, we have 120 gold, so we should try to avoid a shop if we can. And we can by going up the middle. We have to go here if we want to go to Act 4. So I guess we're getting two elites. Um, I'll go this way because technically this is a choice, whereas this is not a choice. Um, we can... we could draw like nine cards with Scrawl now. Flurry, Tantrum, Flurry, Halt. Um, I kind of want to Flurry, Tantrum, Flurry with the um, with the Talk to the Hand, but I guess I'll maximize my chances of getting Talk to the Hand instead of uh, trying to maximize my combo with Talk to the Hand. Uh, I am going to keep Halt in hand, though. I want to get more decks before I, I blow that. Mm, I guess it's already blocking for 14. Maybe I don't need more, more block. I do want more cards. I guess I'll, I'll do that. Casually drawing nine cards with a bottled zero cost thing. Uh, okay, more flurries. We did not get a talk to the hand. We don't care about Deva form in this fight. Let's try and get a talk to the hand. Um, we got one. We also, it looks like, just have lethal because we, we're just doing a ton of damage. What? Why are we hitting people so hard? We're in wrath mode. We only have one strength. Oh, he's vulnerable. Oh, marbles. Never change. Um, we can take a fifth flurry. Um, I think four is my limit. Um, we're already like filling up our hand whenever we get him back, so. Um, four feels pretty nice. Tranquility Plus is interesting. It's a um, stance change on demand. Um, we get a. Uh, um, uh, which we'll call it Cloak Clasp benefit out of it, just for retaining a card. Um, it costs zero, and we can like energy manipulate with it, so we can like halt and then exit Wrath. Okay. Ah, this event. Um, we do have access to a shop, although we'd have to dodge the Mega Elite to do it. Um, and we'd only be able to remove one normality. Uh, not being able to heal is a total non-starter. We have bites. Um, so we're not doing either of these, so we're doing the normal one. It's Guardian again. Did we already fight Guardian? Um. Huh. I guess I'll do it before him. Get some extra energy. This deck is so silly. And scroll. We. Um, I'll cut through fate to look for a retain card or a flurry blows. Um, I guess I'm pretty happy drawing scroll next turn. That's true, we do want to heal the foam. I missed that. Scrawl Sanctity is really awkward. Um, Flurry Blows are positive blocks, so I can play them freely. Um, uh, Tantrum is currently getting back 
one flurry. Um, we could crescendo sanctity. Okay, well. Oop, don't want to play flurry blows first. That would have been a mistake. All right, we've got that bite in, so we're back to full health. Um, shouldn't have too much trouble killing this nerd. Um, I don't want to draw a bunch of cards now, because I'd rather have the flurries in the discard. Uh, okay. Um, we're going to proc Ink Bottle this turn, so we're going to draw this bite. Um, so we don't want to play Cut Through Fate, because then we would shuffle. Wait, maybe we do want to shuffle. Um, yeah, so let's Cut Through Fate, draw this card, and then have Ink Bottle do the shuffle. Um, or we could just Tranquility, get the cards back now, and then Cut Through Fate for shuffle. Draw more cards, sure. So this fire is a silly place. We don't go there anymore. Okay. Um, bird face turn, huh? Um, do we ever take vault? Bottom. Antibody helps us do flurry things. Um, we're already doing, I think, enough flurry things. So I think we're going to pass on these. I think this is probably the worst bird face urn I've ever seen. We only have one power in the whole deck. It's Deva form, so we're healing two per fight. We've already got bites. It's basically useless. But bird face urn is normally like such a top tier. Um, Relic, it's hard to imagine it being bad, but it is. Huh. What do you do with Vault? I just, like, I'm trying to imagine a time when Vault is good. It's never, like, bad, so... I guess it's not that hard to imagine, but... Um... I think I just scrawl again. And I want to get damage return on, um, Spiker. Alright, we have 14 blocks, so we can just bite him a couple times. He's, like, almost dead already. Oh, he's dead. What? Oh, he was vulnerable, right? I always forget that. Okay, great. <laughs> Shape's done. Uh, protect goes with Cloak Clasp. Um, also, we don't have very many cards that actually block. Uh, protect does that. Uh, Empty Mind does some insane stuff. Um, card draw, stance changing. It's kind of like exactly what we want. Um, it's funny to be taking more cards with a 32 card deck, but I really feel like with the Floria Blows decks, you really want it really thick. Because you want like, you want several hands where you can have Floria Blows um, have them like all in the discard, all coming back, so that you can do the combo. Um, so it's kind of like the more cards you can get, the better, as long as you can do things consistently. And that like turn one bottled scrawl plus is, is helping us do things consistently. Uh, the most inconsistent part of the deck right now is drawing data form. Um, we're getting decks really reliably. Um, this isn't a Calm Enter. I think Calm Entering is the hardest part of Stance Dancing right now. But it is a Wrath Exit, which is 
something. I think I'll grab it. I want the protect, but I think the empty mine's better. Okay, Darklings. So we should exit this fight at full health, no matter what happens. Um, we should be able to get there. Let's start off by killing this guy. Um, do we ever defend before Strahl? No, I don't think so. The deck does too many strong things to spend an energy on getting 5 block right now. Um, we can inner piece Empty Mind to card or mana neutrally draw 3 cards. Um, we definitely want to kill that guy this turn. Okay, we've made room in hand, so let's draw the cards. Okay, now we're going to focus on the front guy. Can we eruption? Uh, he's going to hit for 26. We're blocking for 15. We'll get... Um, oh, we can go back into Calm if we want to. Are we getting lethal this turn? No. But only because we didn't have enough Flurry of Blows. If we'd gotten a couple more, it would have been lethal. Okay, don't really need Deva form this fight. I think we're mostly just focused on trying to exit the stance. And um, I guess we're just killing him with this flurry of blows. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, should have parked Ink Bottle. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I can't convince myself to think about that at the end of fights, but I can't. Um, it, this deck is, is cycling through ink bottles extremely quickly, so it doesn't feel like ink bottle is an event. It's just like it happens like once a turn. Um, I think none of these. I was excited about the Tranquility Plus, but I'm not excited about a second one, and this one's not upgraded. Okay. Access to turn one Deva form. We have two scrolls in hand, that's awkward. Um, ooh, exercise. Um, do we talk to the hand on the exploder? I think we do. I think we just kill him this turn. Um, just kidding. Crescendo. We have Tranquility too, so... Should be able to kill Spirit Guard in here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, here we are. At the end of the fight. What should we be doing? Should we be killing people while Ink Bottle is on three? No. We should not be doing that. Should we be playing lots of unnecessary cards? Yes. Yes, we should. Okay. Um, cut through fate. Um, this would be our third one. They are good. Um, what do we, how do we beat Time Lord? Oh, this is an exercise. I'm going to do that right now.
Um, I think there's a concern that starts growing about this point, where it's like, I could take another Cut Through Fate, and Cut Through Fate would make the deck better at, at like, when it's comboed, um, when we've got, like, Deva Form going off and stuff. But it's another card that we're adding to the deck, and it's not Deva Form, and it's not Talk to the Hand. I think there's a couple too many of those. So I think we're going to skip this Cut Through Fate. Sash Whip is a way that we can remove artifact charges. Um, obviously, we would prefer it to be um, Wave of the Hand. Um, I think no on that, too. If it were Sash Whip plus, I think the answer is probably yes. Um, we are against Donu Deca, so we do have to deal with artifact charges somehow. And we're on floor 39, so we don't have a ton of time. We do have a shot between them and us, so we'll probably find something. If we if we get past uh, floor 40, we haven't found one yet, and then I'll do it. And I'm aware that that is next floor. Okay. Um, might be time to take the key. Um, yeah, none of these upgrades are particularly pressing. Scrawl is nice. Empty Mind's nice. We also just have a 33 card deck, so um, when we spend a campsite upgrading a card, we're upgrading a very small portion of our deck. Um, and the health is way more important. And we might get health later if we recall now. So let's do that. Ooh, max HP Raptor Answer. That's tricky. Um. We have Sanctity, so we've got plenty of draw. I don't think we need to super optimize for getting uh, 10 cards out of Scrawl. So we're just going to Scrawl for 6 here. Um, Simmering Fury is also a little bit sketchy this turn, because the next turn can be very scary. Um, we have Crescendo Halt, so that's nice. We probably want to do that before we price Sanctity. Um, let's start flurrying people. And then I think we're going to Crescendo here. Start killing some daggers. Um, halt needs to happen, but we want it to happen as late as possible. Um, because we want to get decks for it first. Actually, no, we're killing both daggers this turn. We don't care about decks. Talk to the Hand. Okay, great. Well, talk to the Hand was really the goal this turn, so we did that. Um, are we playing Deva Form? He is not hurting us currently, so we can uh, we can skip exiting and doing other things. Yeah, I think Deva Form is pretty good. Um, we can also inner piece empty mind. That's mono neutral. Let's us get in some flurries. Yeah, that probably gets us an extra dex. Yeah, it does. Okay. And it gets us out of kind of a scary uh, stance for next turn. Okay. Does much damage. I like it. There's the other talk of the hand. Um, I do think we need to land this on Repomancer. I don't think we can waste too much time putting talk to the hand on daggers. Um, but we're going to want to put all the other damage onto um, daggers. Um, how do we feel about tantruming before cut through fate? Well, it makes cut through fate do 20. So Cut Through Fate is going to need help to kill something. So that help might as well be Tantrum itself. So we might as well just Tantrum and then Cut Through Fate. But we could just Tantrum on Repomancer. That generates a bunch of block. Uh, kind of depends on what Cut Through Fate's going to draw. But we get, um, we get three flurries back, so we should have enough damage to kill both daggers pretty easily. Um, if Cut Through Fate doesn't draw us a stance exit, are we okay? 
Assuming we kill both daggers, we're getting hit for uh, 64. Um, assuming we can't exit the stance. Um, 64 is 11 Talk of the Hand procs. Um, this Talk of the Hand gets the first one, so that's five attacks played on Reprimancer. Tantrum is three of those. Um, seems like we'll be okay. Alright, let's see what else we're drawing. Uh, empty Fist is a way to exit. Seems good. Okay. Seems like a real no problem Reptomancer. Alright, fight's nearly over. Um, it looks like Ink Bottle's just gonna end up. Oh, nope, we're gonna get it exactly wrong if we play one more. Um, so we're going to wait for next turn and kill him with two cards, or one card. Um, we'll set it up perfectly, because we can. Sweet. Alright, got a meal ticket. There's a Dr. Bands. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Come on in. Let's go ahead and get him an upgrade. Excellent. Um, Mumfight Hand is supposed to be our Sapphire Key. Um, yeah, we're not that that sad at losing Mumfight Hand. Just got the Deva form. Um, we can Eruption before we um, Scrawl if we want. We could also Fear No Evil then Eruption if we're feeling particularly brave. Um, I don't think we need to be that brave. We'll just try that out. Okay. Uh, so we're going to play Deva Form this turn. And I think we're just going to play some block cards. Yeah. All right, your move. Um, we need to draw, so let's draw with Tranquility Inner Peace. There's some flurries. I guess I should stop there. Um, we're blocked out. We've got all the, the block return. Um, we could, if we Flurry of Blessing again, he gets eight block, and then we would be able to do nine damage, but we might as well stop there. Mm, we do have Tantrum too. No, we don't want to be in Wrath mode, that's crazy. Okay. Plus we're drawing exactly these five cards, which is pretty nice. Empty Mind. Actually, we're not in a stance. We could go into a stance. Um, yeah, we could go to into stance to get the flurries back and then shuffle with one of these and then empty mind to exit. Seems great. Okay, let's go into stance. And then shuffle. And then beat him up.
Uh, what is 27 times 3? It's like 30 times 3 minus 9. 30 times 3 is 90, so we're not quite there. Um, alright. And now we are there. Uh, do we just leave it there? Um, we don't need to. Yeah, we can probably do Fear No Evil and Empty Fist, and then lots of flurries. Yeah, he's not attacking, so... Um, let's keep going. Let's get some more decks. Okay, now I think we stop there. Uh, if we break him one more time, he gets 12 armor, which is kind of a lot. Right, inner piece shuffles. We don't really want to shuffle. Um, we kind of have to hit him to block, so let's hit him. He's hitting for 27 right now. We can't block for that much, so let's hit him again. Okay, now he's hitting for 12. He is debuffing us, but that's this is our last um, last attack, and we don't want to get a curse, so I guess we'll just be nice. Um, I guess we'll see what else we have. Um, yeah, we'll just let him debuff us, that's fine. Um, we have to do at least one of these. That seems dangerous. Um, 24, we're surviving. Um, but we might as well do this, because we have, uh, good ones. Uh, 36, we're surviving two. And we can't get another dex, I don't think. So we'll just, uh, stop there. Oh, we could have gotten another dex. I'm not sure why I thought I couldn't. Uh, thanks for the follow. Digital Charmander. Appreciate it. One day, you'll be a Charmeleon. And that day will be glorious. Um, do you have any idea how many XP you have? You might be close to leveling up. If memory serves, Charmander upgrades Charmeleon at level 12, so if you're currently 11, it's pretty exciting. Um, we can Empty Fist to get Flurries back and then Tantrum to get him back again. should stop there. Okay, I will. Okay, uh, Fear No Evil changes our stance. And we've got all the flurries in hand so we can um, cut through fate to shuffle and keep the flurries into the next shuffle. Oh, we've got an awful lot of block. Okay. Um, wasn't super paying attention to what he was doing, so we almost got cursed, but uh, I'm happy to have him hit us for 48 instead. Uh, we have 12 energy, so drawing some cards seems good. Okay, we got him. Full health, so that's nice. Um, I did say that I would take a Sash Whip if I found it after uh, floor 40. Um, maybe we don't... Maybe we don't need to... land uh, Talk to the Hand against Stony Decca. Uh, maybe we can just kill him with Dex and Block. Um, it feels really bad to pick a Sash Whip. I do not want to do it. Especially an unupgraded one. Alright, I think I'm reevaluating my Doni Deca plan. I think it's gonna not include Sash Whip. 
Um, empty body could be nice. Um, I think we're okay. We've got a lot of stance exits. Um, I guess I'll keep take a campfire. I'm not sure what we're upgrading, but it's gonna be good. Scrawl, empty mind. Uh, Simmering Fury. Those are the things that draw cards. Uh, empty Mind draws cards now, whereas Simmering Fury draws cards next turn. I think Empty Mind drawing cards now is probably better. You have a wave of the hand? No. Um, we could get Preserved Insect, helps us in two fights, this one and the Act 4 one. Uh, Bronze Scales helps us in one fight, <laughs> that's the heart fight. Helps you a little bit in every fight, but uh, mostly in the heart fight. Oh, I forgot to exercise after that card reward. Um, let me do that now. Right. Uh, Day 6 Machina is a little bit scary. I don't think we're interested in that. Fasting is kind of fun. Um, a little bit of extra strength for the flurries. Kill people faster. Um, Apotheosis. Our deck is huge. Um, get some significant upgrades. Bring all the bites and stuff. Apotheosis also hits like miracles and stuff in hand. Uh, so that's like the smites. Ooh, Sir Artemis has gotten another playtest redemption. That's, it'll be his third playtest. Um, so, you think we need strength? I don't know. I'm not convinced. Seems like we're killing people pretty easily. Um, and fasting is like kind of a big commitment. Um, we do have a ton of energy though. Um, that's true. Fasting does make us better against Time Eater. So does Sanctity. You know what really makes us better against Time Eater? Fairy in a bottle. <laughs> We're gonna need that. Sanctity is on sale as well. If we were gonna remove something, what would we remove? I think Eruption. Not too excited about Eruption anymore. Got a Tantrum and a um, Crescendo. It is a way to get Flurry of Blows back, though. Ah. Alright, I think I'm convinced by these arguments. I didn't see anything convincing here. But I guess I have to do something. I guess I'll take out a Defend. We just bought a Sanctity, so we'll just... We'll upgrade that Defend into a Sanctity. Darklings again. Alright, we have to exit this fight with full health. No matter what happens in the middle. Um, if I'm going to talk to hand on somebody, I probably shouldn't punch them also. Um, unless I'm just talk to handing on them for damage. split there. Uh, no multi-attacks, that's 
Convenient. Here's fasting being terrible. Um, we have eruption empty fist to get in and out. Ooh, halt while we're in here. Um, get an extra dex before we halt. Seems good. Um, smite this guy. Okay. Cloak Clasp has been insane this run. I haven't mentioned Cloak Clasp enough. This run is like built around Cloak Clasp. Um, let's do a bunch of flurries. Cool. All right. Totally forgot about Ink Bottle. Totally worked out. Um, another halt. Um, the, the first halt has been really, really good. Um, I don't know if there's room for two. It probably is. Halt is really convenient too because we have two copies of Scrawl. So it's easy to just like, oh, I've got a halt in my hand, I'll just play it. And then scroll. Okay. Speaking of scroll, there it is. Um, we could turn one fasting. Um, gets it out of the way. It reduces us down to five energy on subsequent turns. That's probably fine. Looks like the rest of the energy is going into attacking. I guess I'm supposed to do those in ascending order of damage instead of with the talk of the hands first. So that was wrong. Uh, I think I need to draw two cards next turn. Okay. Um, I would love to draw with Sanctity, but I can't really. So I'd have to go out of... I guess I can inner piece Sanctity and then Tantrum to get back into Wrath. I guess that's okay. Yeah, we're pretty good against Giant Head. Um, we don't need any of these. We're just trying to kill them right now. Um, if we enter Calm, we get Flurries back, and he's got 15 slow procs, so we should probably do that. Yeah, okay, great. Pantograph? Hey, it's Wave of the Hand! Alright! Um, man, that was such a tortured, like, ah, oh, do we take the, the thing? And then we did find Wave of the Hand. Alright, so that's our plan for artifact removal. And I think it gets an upgrade. It's pretty good upgraded. Fasting's pretty good too. Uh, Fasting's better in Time Lord fight, and this is our last upgrade before Time Lord, if it is deigned to be Time Lord. The Time Lord's only 50-50, and um, Dune Deck is 100%. Okay. Um, we've cut through Fate, so we're probably drawing enough cards that we don't need to worry about micro-optimizing Strong. Let's just see what our options are first. Okay. Um... 
Uh, there's only one skill in hand, and it's Vigilance. So if we want to draw two cards with Sanctity, we have to spend three energy on Vigilance Sanctity. Um, that also blocks for quite a bit. Um, okay. Here's Wave of the Hand, but we don't have any way to proc it. We could Wave of the Hand and cut through Fate, look for a Halt or something. Um, I guess we'll cut through Fate first, see if we find it. Um, okay. Well, that ain't it. Okay, so no point in Wave of the Handing then. Um, play Carve Reality to maintain a card in hand. Um, I think we've got 10 cards. 3, 6, 9, 10. Yeah. So we're walking for 24. Um, unless we play a card. Um, hmm. Do we play Bite to get 8 damage and give up 1 health? We get a Dex too, so yeah, I think we do. Um, we have one flurry, one flurry. So basically, this turn hurts. Okay, it's wrath next turn. Um, I guess defend blocks for more if we don't play it, because um, then we get it counts for Cliff Clasp as well as Orc Alchem, as opposed to just one of the two. So we're blocking for 11 like we used to against Sentries way back in the day. Um, I guess Bite is damage neutral, because it blocks for... It heals us for one and causes us to take one extra. Okay. This is the kind of turn I'm looking for. Man, all the Flurries are in the bottom. Got double halt. Probably want to get a dex before we do that. So let's get a dex. Uh, we've got tranquility or empty fist to exit. Um, let's go with empty fist. Uh, and then I think we're going to re enter with crescendo. Um, three, six, nine cards in hand so we can sanctity safely. Empty Mind. Still looking for Deva Form, surprisingly. Um, even though we're, like, many turns into this fight. Uh, we want to halt before we Empty Mind, though, so let's do that. Um, we're going to exit, so he's going to be back to doing 15 times 2. That's just 30, so we're already blocking that out. Okay. There's Deva Form. Okay, uh, I guess I'll play it. And then either Bite or Inner Peace. Uh, Inner Peace gets me... They both get one dex, right? Unless we have four flurries. We have three down there. Yeah, of course there's none up there. Okay, so the... And that, um, I guess it puts me in a Calm. Oh, wait. I should Tranquility and then Scrawl. So if I Tranquility, I draw three cards and go to Calm. And then Scrawl shuffles with the the um, uh, the flurries on the bottom. Three, six, nine cards. So this will draw two. One of them's a flurry, and then I shuffle for the last card. Seems good. I was just waiting for that last card to be a wave of the hand. But luckily, it was not. Oh, you know what? I should have played the wave of the hand because. At the end of the turn, I blocked with, uh, could have blocked with Orc Alchem and Cook Clasp. So that would have removed, um, two of the artifact charges. I totally missed that at the time. Um, speaking of Wave of the Hand, there it is. It's looking for you.
Um, uh, you're right, I should have played the Flurries at the end. I was distracted by the fact that I made a misplay earlier and was describing it. Um, yep, everybody's correct. Should have played the Flurries. Um, um, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's no big deal. Um, let's draw cards. Um, okay, so we're going to enter Eruption so that we get two procs of Wave of the Hand from Hulk. Um, oh, it only counts once. I didn't realize that. Um, shoot. Okay, well, the end of turn one will remove the last artifact charge, and then the next talk to the hand I can, I guess, go on Decca because Doni's almost dead. Um, uh, do we have lethal on Doni? So we have 18 plus the... Uh, um, he's reached 5, so it's 20. 18 plus 20 is 38, plus um, this is going to be 12. Um, so it's going to be 50... Plus uh, 40. Yeah. Pretty safe. Okay. Plus, then we still have energy for fasting at the end. And we even heal a little bit. Okay. So, let's see if we can get out of this with full health. Um, let's halt Sanctity to draw skirts. Um, we have a talk to the hand, so let's go draw it and play it. Um, seems like we want to slow down on the damage a little bit. Um, uh, I will play this last one because it gets a dex, but I'm not going to play any of the rest of them. Oh, wait, that's one more dex. Hmm. No, we've got 14 dex. We don't need more dex. Uh, he's not even attacking next turn. Uh, and we can't shuffle with the flurries. Flurry Tantrum, Flurry gets a dex. Um, it also leaves me in Wrath Mode, which I don't need. Uh, I think I'll just wave over the hand, double defend. And uh, Cloak Blast will trigger on him too. Okay. He's weak forever. Sitting for 26 for the rest of his life. Um, let's go find another top of the hand. Perfect. Pipes? No. Okay, we're blocked out. Um, so let's stop decking. Almost back to full, so I think we can set him up to start killing him. Um... Use that one over a one. One more bite? No. Alright, well, we can just block out with these. And I'll play a smite just so that we can kill him if, if uh, it's an emergency and we don't have a bite. Uh, there's the bite. Okay, so now we're full health. Um, ink bottles not set up. Well, that's about as good as I can do for setting a pink bottle. I'll take it. Five? Not too bad. Alright. Alright, we managed to dodge Time Lord. Amazing. Um, probably want to go into Wrath this turn. 
So I don't mind crescendoing before scrawl. So let's do that. Um, all right, we might just end up tranquilitying right back out. Um, so let's kill one of these nerds first. Let's talk to the hand. Yeah, this is we got the we got the uh, the thirty three percent no time lord um, out, which is nice. Probably gonna finish up with fear no evil on awakened one. So let's put talk to the hand on him. I guess we need twenty two block. Um, I think it's probably the last talk to the hand we're playing on him. Uh, we're gonna save the rest for a uh, second phase. Or the last one for second phase. Um. Yeah, Fear No was the last energy, so let's get the flurries back. Um. There we go. Put them on the Skulltist. Fasting being a jerk. Um, eruption gives me back my um, flurries. And then I think we're going to Tranquility Sanctity. And we're going to do that now, so if we find Dave before him, we can play it. Wave the hand is good too. Uh, maybe we don't want to play David Form. Um, since we don't want him to get too strong. No, we do, he's, he's not going to get stronger than us. We're way stronger. Um, I don't think we care about fasting though. We don't need to kill him faster. We kind of want to string him along. Or we'll build up decks for the second phase. So no fasting. Uh, this one's not getting played. Um, can we shuffle? Um, if we draw Sanctity, we can. So let's draw Sanctity. Great. Okay, so now we um, we need to exit our stance to draw the flurries. And then we play this to be a skill. We shuffle the flares on the bottom. Um, I'll go ahead and play David Form. Um, it's not a huge deal, but it does something. Okay, we've got a, a dex. We set up Ink Bottle. We blocked out. Um, I think that's all we're doing for this turn. We could get another dex if we wanted to. More flurries, Tantrum, more flurries. Um, but we don't need to do that. Okay, um, uh, let's get our block for this turn. Um, um yeah, okay, we've got our block. Um, got some decks, uh, no reason to punch him any harder. His uh, regen do some work. Um, I guess since we've got David Form, might as well fasting. Since we've got him where we want him to be. Halt locks out. Um, we can't shuffle. We can transform him now if we want. Um, I think we'll be 
satisfied with getting a dex this turn. Give him one more turn before we transform him. Uh, at least it for eight, so we could hit him for 24, get one more dex. Why not? Alright, 15 dex, 10 energy. Um, seems like we're ready to go. We did just draw through Talk of the Hand, though. Uh, and we would be hoping to land Talk of the Hand on him in his next phase. We don't really need it. Um, it just makes it a little bit more reliable that we get blocked. Alright, well, let's just draw some cards. Um, Scrawl helps us draw back to Talk of the Hand. Uh, but I'll just develop a smite for the next phase. And I'll Simmering Fear because I know there's a... Um... Oh, shoot. I was going to say there's a Fear No Evil on top of the Um Alright, well, Fear No Evil... Now... Hmm. It's either Fear No Evil or Carve Reality. If I Fear No Evil, I'll get two extra energy next turn when I go into Wrath. Um, I guess we're getting 11 energy anyway, so we don't care about that. So I'll just Carve Reality so I get a smite in hand. I guess I can get the two energy anyway. Okay, um, we can weaken him. Uh, that seems good. We don't need the bites. Full health. We're blocked out, but we have empty fists anyway, so we can just go again. Uh, there's no reason to hold back in this phase, might as well just kill him. Um, if we play three Flurry Blows, we draw a card. I guess that's okay, we've got three energy. I guess we'll go and call him for next turn. And set up Ink Bottle again. Did we Ink Bottle like twice that turn? Our Ink Bottle is really confusing. Uh, Alright, this has got to be lethal, right? Yeah, okay. Setting up Ink Bottle on zero. Okay. Next act, please. We uh, double perfected the uh, Act 3 bosses. That's nice. Or wait, maybe don't need a deck of damage, but we just healed it. Um, uh, let's see, what are we doing here? Inner Peace gets a card, Fasting gets its strength. Um, Uh, eruption costs less. We're down to the bottom of the barrel here. Maybe a bite gets, gets an extra health. I think inner piece is probably it. Maybe scrawl. It's pretty important that scrawl costs zero. But inner piece, you play multiple times in a fight. Is that a good number? I feel like um, scores above 2,000 for the first three. Acts are not that uncommon, you know, on Ascension 20. Um, we can't afford card remove. All we can afford to do is Empty Mind, Evaluate, Flying Sleeves. Um, I don't think I want another Empty Mind. I don't want an Evaluate and I don't want Flying Sleeves, so I think we're good here. Um, really? Um, are you playing on Ascension 20? The, the Ascension matters quite a bit. Um, I think we're looking for, um, for Wave of the Hand here. We've got quite a bit of card draw in hand, so we don't need to optimize Scrawl. And just go for it. Huh. I feel like for 1700 you should be able to get up to, I don't know, maybe not 2000, but probably close. 
Uh, we got David form. Uh, we can't really block. Which is unfortunate. We can fear no evil empty mind. It's a um, mono neutral card draw. We actually need to spend a card in hand or else we overdraw. We're at 10 right now. I think that card's going to be David form. I think we're pretty excited about doing that. Got another copy of Scrawl. That's probably not very useful. Um, how do we feel about Simmering Fury for next turn? Um, next turn's very dangerous, because you get um, two of the cards in your hands of Burns, and um, Spire Shield is attacking, and Spire Spear is attacking four times. Um, so being in Wrath is dangerous, but drawing two extra cards is really helpful. I guess I'll figure that out after this cut through fate. Um, Sanctity seems really good. We're currently failing to block, so fixing that problem seems nice. Um, I guess we're doing that instead of um, scroll, um, instead of Simmering Fury. Oh, we missed wave of the hand. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. This turn hurts. Um, uh, not super helpful. We could play a talk of the hand just to play it. My god, are we dying here? Oh my god. I cannot believe we're dying here. We're taking 61 damage and dying exactly. Oh wait, no. We're getting 4 over lethal. Uh, I guess that's our fairy in a bottle. Yikes. Um, man, this turn is hard. I guess I should have played the... Um, uh, Simmering Fury? I don't know. I overblocked last turn, too. Because um, I wasn't thinking about Cloak Clasp. And I missed out on um, Wave of the Hand. Well, I don't want to go back because I would be going back to save the Wave of the Hand that I know only know is coming because I went back. Um, Alright, let's pull a Talk to the Hand. The next Talk to the Hand will hit him. Um, is there any power pot that um, saves us? Uh, I think no. Oh, there is actually. There's like water. If we get like water, we survive at one. Keep the fairy alive. Okay. <laughs> Buffer. Um, we have David form down. I don't mind fasting. Okay. Um, let's see how many flurries we have. Just one? Oh, we have two. Um, we'll need a way to exit. Let's look for the exit before we tantrum in. Um... Didn't feel like a loss. I'm not sure what went wrong. Uh, we drew really poorly. Um, I guess that's it. <laughs> we drew really poorly. Um, definitely felt like a win, but sometimes you lose an X4. Um, probably could have played it better as well. Um, I definitely made a mistake on turn one by not playing the Simmering Fury. Um, but I'm not sure that would have gotten me out of it. Uh, 
Maybe I should have played the power potion on turn one. I don't know how I was supposed to realize that um, that it was coming. I, that wave of the hand was way too important. Um, we needed a. We should have taken one of those. Um, which McCollum's for backup. Um, the things that apply weak if you've used an attack. Well, that's upsetting. 